if you're doing direct to seller marketing of any kind, you know as well as I do that you're going to have people call you on homes that you don't want to buy. <laughs> it's, they're going to be uh, either in too bad of shape in a neighborhood you don't like, or maybe just something that doesn't match your strategy. What if I told you that there was a list that you could mail to that would bring you both buyers and sellers with reasonable predictability? Is that something you'd be interested in? So look, let me level with you. This isn't some super secretive list that you've got to buy into for you know, $15,000 a year that you don't really know what's on it. I would argue this list, which is one of my favorites, is one of the single most overlooked lists that you can pull right from the comfort of your home. This is gonna be my Christmas present to you and your kickoff to 2020. So the list is absentee owned corporate properties. Now wait, this is not exactly what you're thinking. Most investors by default, anytime they're pulling an absentee owned or any list at all, exclude corporations. The thought process is that somehow they're like um, invincible to errors on projects or running out of money or getting in trouble um, the same way a typical absentee owner would. Now we take it a step further. We're not just doing corporate owned absentee properties. We're cracking the companies to figure out who owns them. The result is instead of you mailing my office about one of my properties, you would be getting me at my house none of your competitors are doing this level of due diligence pre-marketing. To be clear here, we're not talking about mailing, you know, uh, blank, 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 company, properties, holdings, LLC. We're talking about figuring out who actually set up that LLC and mailing to that person at the address they provided. Now, that's typically going to be the owner and the registered agent address is typically going to be their home. Now, occasionally you're gonna get their attorney or maybe an assistant. We've actually had really good luck with that as well. The neat thing with this list, if you're just starting, is you're gonna get not only sellers, but also buyers from the same marketing efforts. The response rate on these also is typically huge because these are people who aren't typically getting marketing, and if they are, it's not really going to their house. I'm going to show you step-by-step step now how to pull this list through both list source as well as prop stream, depending on which one you have. Now in list source, you're gonna go into create your own, you're gonna pick out the geography you want um, just for the sake of this demo. I'm just gonna go by zip code, and throw in a particular zip code. Um, I typically do by zip code, but you could do by county or whatever you want. You're gonna go in here into property and you're gonna pick the equity percentage you want. I always do 35 to 100%. It's extremely rare that somebody calls me who can't afford to sell to me. Gonna go property type now, detailed property type. I'll leave that under all. That's fine. Reason you wanted to do this, if you leave this just under property type and go like residential and say SFR, that'll include lots and things of that nature, which chances are you're not wanting. Whereas the SFR on this is truly just like a house on some ground. <laughs> so we have our location, we have our equity and our property type in. We're now going to come over to options. What most investors do here is go absentee owned and then they skip out on corporate owned. They leave this to exclude. Now, what I'm going to recommend you do is mail both the absentee owners. This is where you're going to get your leads as well as the corporate owned. This is where you're potentially going to get some people that want to buy them from you. Now, that being said, you can also get leads here as well. But what I've seen is some of these corporate owned folks will call in and say, hey, I'm not interested in selling. I am interested in buying. That being said, I buy a lot of properties a year that are corporate owned. So take that info, go down to purchase list. Always remove duplicates on list source and then purchase. Going to now show you how to pull the exact same thing in prop stream. So we're going to do the same um, zip code. We're going to do owner occupied. No. So that would be absentee properties, property characteristics. We're going to do SFR. Ownership info, I'm going to change this to just corporate. Now, if I was pulling the exact same list, um, I would also do individual, but I'm just wanting to show you guys what actually running one of these companies looks like. And then valuation, we're going to add in the equity of 35 to 100%. 
And one of the things I really like with PropStream is just simply how affordable it is if you're exporting lists. So list source, if you've got like a hookup or a buddy, you may be able to get as low as like three cents. I believe if you just go into their front door, it's 20 to 30 cents, right? PropStream, on the other hand, for a hundred bucks a month, you get 10,000 exports. That's a, a person a penny. Not bad at all. The other thing I like is you can actually do some research as well, and you don't have to buy the data to look at it like I'm showing you right here. So we're going to just pull one here um, randomly and run one of these LLCs. So instead of mailing Long Pond, Indiana, we're going to go into Open Corporates, which this is uh, the open database of the corporate world. Doesn't that sound fancy? And we're going to throw this in and perfect. All right, so this uh, particular property is owned by Aaron Adams and his registered agent address is 804 North Delaware Street, Suite A. So instead of mailing a long pond, we can actually mail the guy behind it. To show you how you'd find the local one, what I would do is Indiana Secretary of State business search. So you would just throw in your state or the state of the person that you're running, if that makes sense. Um, so if the mailing address is out of state, I would need to run this search in that state. Now, this is definitely something you want to pass off to a VA. Your time and my time is more valuable than this. So perfect. Same thing here. Um, they actually have a different mailing address, which is interesting. Um, I happen to actually know who this guy is and I know that both of them work. Um, so that being said, that would be how you are going to do the actual searching of these. So what I would have an assistant do is throw the data in Excel of first name, last name, property address, city, state, and zip, um, and then just repeat this process over your list size, which on this really isn't too bad. It's 201 parcels, but that is the actual how to for this technique. Hopefully this is something new you've learned today, but just watching the video, just consuming the content doesn't do you any good. So get out there, get it done, get some marketing going out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Talk to you next time.